Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph, and today we're taking a look at my best build for Grim Snarl V Max. But before that, I want to first thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Please click the like button for this video if you like it, hit the thumbs down if you don't. This actually helps me out in getting this video to more viewers like you. Please consider subscribing to this channel too if you haven't already, and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. For the longest time, I've been wanting to showcase Grim Snarl V Max, but I haven't found the best build for it until now. Grim Snarl V Max may actually be stronger if compared to Eternatus V Max. Its HP is 330, only 10 short of Eternatus, which is still pretty decent. In its attack G Max Drill for 3 Dark Energy, it will do 170 base damage. But for each extra energy you add, it will add 50 more damage. So if you have 5 energy, your damage will max out at 270 damage. You can't have any more energies other than 5 to max it out. I will have a 3-3 line of Grimmsnarl V Max. The recommended combo for Grimmsnarl V Max is actually to pair it with Hydreigon with the Dark Squall ability, where it lets you attach Dark Energy cards from your hand as often as you like to one of your Pokemon. It seems ideal, but what makes it difficult is that you need to evolve it because Hydreigon is a stage 2. And another challenge is that you will not always have the guarantee that you'll have the energy you need on your hand to use the Dark Squall ability. So I really disliked this idea because it took forever to set up Grimmsnarl V Max. But after some thinking and testing, I found a really good build for energizing Grimmsnarl V Max. First, I will be using a 2-2 line of Sharpedo with a greedy evolution ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may look at the top 6 cards of your deck and attach any number of dark energy you find there to this Pokemon. Not only can you use this Pokemon to attack with bad fangs for 3 colorless, it will do 60 base damage, plus 20 more for each dark energy. So typically it will hit for 120 damage with 3 dark energy on it. This comes in handy too against Decidueye. But also it helps get as much energy into play as possible. Next is Incineroar GX with the Scar Charge ability. Once during your turn you may put 3 damage counters on this Pokemon and if you do, search your deck for up to 3 dark energy and attach them to this Pokemon. This is 100% guaranteed to have you 3 dark energy cards in play, so long as you have energies left in your deck. But it's worth noting that its Dark Tornado GX attack can do more than 300 damage if you have 6 or more damage counters on this Pokemon, so you can use this attack to plan a knockout blow on some of your tougher opponents. So what's the point of getting all this energy into play? This is where Weavile GX comes in. It has the Shadow Connection ability where it allows you to move your basic dark energy around between any of your Pokemon in play however you'd like. So with the help of Incineroar GX and Sharpedo, Weavile GX can move all those energy around, especially to your Grimmsnarl VMAX to start making those 270 attacks for the rest of the game. And I have one Crobat for its Dark Acid ability for consistency. And that's pretty much what the combo is or the strategy for this build. Get a lot of energy into play, have Weavile GX move it around, attach it on Grimmsnarl VMAX and then attack as hard as you can. As for the rest of the deck, I have Evolution Incense, Ordinary Rod, Quick Ball, Rare Candy to evolve our Incineroar, Switch, Chaotic Swell, Boss's Orders, Marnie, Pokemon Center Lady, Professor's Research, Red and Blue. This one will use to evolve Weavile GX where possible, so that after evolving we can also attach 2 energy onto Weavile adding 2 more energy to our collection. Next is Kyla and 2 Vitality Bands for potentially increasing Grimmsnarl VMAX attack to 280 damage at full strength, which should 1 hit KO even an ADP. As for the energy, I have 2 Hiding Energy and 12 Basic Dark Energy. This build works pretty well in my opinion. It might still need a few tweaks, but for the most part, it's pretty fast to set up. And that's pretty much it for the deck, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Alright, let's choose heads. I always choose heads, no matter what. So we win. Yes, I want to go first. Alright, cool. We got Litten and Sneasel. Um, I think we could start with uh, Litten, actually. We have a uh, Rare Candy and Evolution Incense all ready to go, so... We'll just put Sneasel in the in the bench. And I'm just going to put this Hiding Energy, just in case they switch it out. We can just retreat with it. Because we'll need um, that Weavile GX to remain alive for the duration of the game. So we can switch out all the energies. But what a way to start the game, right? With a hammer. So we're up against the Mewtwo and Mew tag team. 
So uh, with the looks of it, um, it's probably a Pikachu Zekrom tag team. Um, yeah, with a Bolton V. So it's an electric electric box. Uh, this has been a very popular build that everybody's playing in the standard format so far. And, you know, it took a uh, grand prize on one of the tournaments. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not unusual to see this, uh, this, that deck build. All right, they're going to put an air balloon on their tag team. So this is going to be an interesting battle. All right, so they have Chaotic Swell. We don't have any particular stadium anyway, so we don't mind that. There's the uh, Picaram in their bench and the usual Electrify. Just gonna get a bunch of energy on their bench. So on our, on our turn, all right, they're gonna put all those, the two energies on their Mewtwo and Mew tag team. Look at that. We got a Wee Wild GX. On our top deck so we just evolved that put an energy there and we are gonna go ahead and get an evolution uh, use the evolution incense to get our incense or our gx use the rare candy to evolve it to evolve our relitten and we let's just use scar charge ability first so we have three energies put damage counters on our incineroar we can even use its gx attack later on and we're gonna profess our research and there's our Grimmsnarl VMAX line. We have uh, two VMAX and we can put another Sneasel on the bench here. Cause, um, let's see. Let's just crushing, uh, let's just attack it normally. And it's attack is actually pretty cool cause uh, it can discard a special energy on our opponent. So that actually helped us out stall um, with Bolton, now they'll have to uh, push for, ne for an extra move to energize Bolton or uh, their Mewtwo and Mew. So they, they just energize their Bolton at this point. And they're going to use a Marnie. Uh, anyways, we don't have to use that Chaotix Wall. Um, but now, I was thinking of actually evolving into Grimmsnarl VMAX at that point, and uh, we could have attacked, but... Uh, Incineroar, I can actually just knock out this Bolton V. Uh, we have Carvana. That can get us more energies if we evolve it into... Um, Sharpedo. So now they have a Raichu tag team also on their bench. And then they are going to use Crushing Hammer. After finding it with... Oh my gosh, they have two Crushing Hammers. Whew. Good thing they're getting all tails. That's good for us. And, after, you know, they, they got all of that after using uh, the Den AGX. I'm going to use Quick Ball. There's their Tapu Coco. See, that's the thing with the Lightning decks. They're very quick at um, energizing. And what's nice about the uh, Pika Rom. Uh, tag team in the right shoot they don't have to discard any energies which um, although they only hit for like 15 150 150 damage um, it's very very versatile they can just uh, two hit knock out a lot of Pokemon and we are not playing any Mew so that bench damage is a real danger to to our 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 matchup here so we have to really think about our our moves in the next few turns so we can knock out this Bolton V uh, with Incineroar GX uh, we have another energy we'll just attach that into the bench so the the key is to just keep attaching energy in play and we have Weavile GX to just switch it around all right so they're just gonna they just choose to electrify and they are prepping that Raichu uh, GX. Um, I am still using Amalo and Lana instead of the Professor or the Pokemon Center. So 
Let's see. But I changed that up because it's very awkward. All right, let's just get a Crobat, Crobat V out of that quick ball. We'll attach that one energy to lessen our hand. All right, cool. So we can now evolve our Grim Snarl into V Max. We can use Skyla to get um, a switch, and we can. Uh, uh, let's see. Do we want to switch? Um. Let's just use Shadow Connection. I'm gonna just transfer this energy on Grimmsnarl VMAX. Alright, so now it has 5 energies. And I'm just gonna Scar Charge to get 3 more. That way, uh, even if we attack with Incineroar GX and they KO, knock it out, uh, we have energy to attack. Because if we attack right away without getting more energies, then how are we gonna attack with our other Pokemon? So we got Litten, and, uh, Litten out of that and another rare candy. So uh, we have another Incineroar GX line um, in our next few turns. So that's really good. So now they put their Mewtwo in Mew tag team in the active. They're probably just gonna knock out this uh, Incineroar GX. But that's okay, we can just one hit KO uh, that uh, their tag team with Grim Snarl V Max. Because it's gonna hit for 270 damage. So, uh, yeah, this, this, this build is very powerful. I was uh, pleasantly surprised how powerful it is. Uh, see, the only difference between Eternatus V Max is that Eternatus V Max requires a lot of Pokemon. This one requires a lot of energy, but if you just have a way to get all that energy, it's actually just as powerful, and it doesn't have a weakness to fighting. Um, all right, they're just gonna oh, they're gonna boss this order of Grim Snarl V Max. Oh, okay, that's a good strategy. Uh, they switched into Raichu GX a tag team. Uh, that will paralyze our Grim Snarl V Max, so now we can't, we won't be able to move. We can use Switch and just switch out of it, but it'll just their Mewtwo and Mew will just knock it out. So I think the best action here is to just attack with Incineroar GX, and I'm just gonna add more damage to this to make sure that we have enough damage using this Darkest Tornado GX. And sure enough, 460 damage. That's crazy. Uh, and that will knock out their Raichu tag team. That will get us three prize cards as well. So, I oh mean, you know what? <laughs> Maybe Incineroar. <laughs> I should just play this as an Incineroar deck. But yeah, Grimmsnarl VMAX definitely uh, benefits from that uh, Scar Charge because it gets us all this energy. And then transfer all that energy to Grimmsnarl V Max, and it can hit for 270 damage each turn. See that well, with Incineroar GX, uh, it can only use that GX move uh, once. So that's the only thing. And so actually pairing it with Grimmsnarl V Max makes this deck build even stronger because you have that uh, the the two options of these two hard hitting uh, Pokemon in, in the deck. And all right, they're just gonna use the Dene now. So they have a potential to use the GX, but they'll need another energy to hit the bench. Uh, but even if they do that and knock out our Grimmsnarl V Max with the GX, uh, they're only gonna get five five prize cards. So we we have to figure out how. Okay, they were able to remove one energy off of. Grimshnall V Max, but that's fine. We can just um, transfer the one on Carvana onto Grimshnall V Max and just one hit KO this Mewtwo and Mew tag team. So let's see what options we got on our hand here. Um, so we have another line of Incineroar GX, which we can use, but we need to knock out this uh, Mewtwo and Mew tag team because um, if they knock out both of both Incineroar and Grimmsnarl 
that leaves them with one. Uh, if they attack normally, Gr uh, Incineroar should survive. Right? Because it hits for 150. So they will have to use their GX. That will do 200 damage, but they need one more energy to hit the bench. That'll get them uh, five prize cards. Okay, they're going to use another... Um, Boss's order. All right, so they are targeting this Grimmsnarl V Max. Unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to show uh, Grimmsnarl V Max, but it's there. It was. It's there. It was ready to go. You could just one hit knock out this Mewtwo and Mew tag team, but they really push for that. They get three price card for that. Um, so now Incineroar. GX can't really one hit KO uh, this this Mewtwo and Mew tag team. So what are we gonna do here? Um, I was actually thinking of putting a uh, Fion in this in this build. All right, so we have the Vitality Band on Grimmsnarl VMAX and we have another energy on Carvana. I think I'm just gonna Marnie here. Maybe we have a VMAX nice. Uh, but we can't evolve it yet. So let's just evolve Carvana. All right, we get one more energy. So that's three, uh, three energies on Carvana. Let's see. 160 so they still won't be able to knock they shouldn't be able to knock out um, this incineroar so I think I I could just attack with it just do chip damage they still have three price card to go uh, let me just put all these energy from Sharpedo onto our Grim Snarl V we can we can attack with it in our next turn. We could just use, I think, Crushing Punch. You know what? It's gonna get knocked out either way, I think. I'm just gonna use Crushing Punch. We don't have any en more energy. I was thinking of just getting more energy and transferring it to our Grim Snarl V so that we can just one hit KO. But that's fine. Uh, they'll only get two, uh, two price card off of this Incineroar. A GX, uh, but we have Pierce. Pierce is another option. I this is not in part of the final build, but that that will get us another energy. Hopefully, there we have a hiding energy. All right, they're just gonna switch. Interesting. Oh, I see what they're doing here. Uh, they're gonna use the paralyze, but it doesn't matter. They're just gonna knock out this Incineroar anyways. Okay, so they don't have boss order anymore, so they're gonna just gonna use uh, Brock. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is just uh, evolve into Grimmsnarl V Max and finish off their Mewtwo and Mew tag team. So we're we're pretty good. You know, it's interesting they have two Eldegoss in their in their build. That's how they got their two uh, bosses orders or earlier. They just keep recycling it from their discard pile, which is very interesting. All right, so at least we get a finishing <laughs> finishing attack with Grim Snarl V Max. But that's a good showcase though of how how well we can just get our energies to attack with Grim Snarl V Max and the other Pokemon in this uh, build. Um, oh, I removed that capture energy. This capture energy we we don't really need in this deck. So, but for the most part, you know, it works just the same as the final build. So I'm just gonna use G Max Drill for the win here. That'll get us our last prize card. All right, so pretty good, not bad, good game. All right, on to our next one. All right.
right, we lose, we lose. All right, we're gonna go second. That's interesting. Um, so let's put Carvana. It's the only one we can put in the active. It's interesting that, I mean, I guess it depends on the fire, fire deck. Usually they like going second because of um, Volcanion. Oh, okay. Interesting. So for our for our hand though, uh, we have Professor's Research, so we can use that in our next turn. But um, it depends if we have a Litten. Okay. So our opponent also has a Mew on their bench. And they're gonna use Poke Gear. And they have a Leon. Leon. All right, they're discarding the Leon with a Quick Ball. All right, if I had to guess, this is gonna be a Charizard deck. Yep, there's the Charmander. Another Poke Gear. They get nothing out of that. Oh boy. Yeah. Fast Flight. With their Talon Flame. All right, so it's our turn now. Um, you can put this energy on Carvana, and I think I'm just gonna Marnie here. I don't want to throw away anything. Okay, we got a Crobat and a Sneasel, so that's good. So well, let's put Sneasel on the bench first. We're just gonna cro Crobat here. We still don't get anything out of that. Let's just use Agility. Maybe we'll get heads. Oh, okay, so we're in danger of getting knocked out if they so choose to energize this Talon Flame. And knock out our Carvana. See, that's the thing with the Charizard build. Um, I do. Ha I just actually posted a video just before this one. Uh, the Charizard build. Um, with that build, I actually did not put any two prize Pokemon because, as you'll see in this in this matchup, I'll prove it. But for now, let's just use uh, red and blue so we can evolve our Sneasel. So I'm just going to throw away this switch and energy and get our, Sne uh, our Weavile. And then we get two energies off of that. Sweet. So now we have three energies. And then we can evolve into Sharpedo. But we don't get any energy off of that. So it's too bad. And I'm just going to use Shadow Connection to transfer both these energies from Weavile onto Sharpedo. And we can do chip damage on this um, Talon Flame. So what's gonna end up happening is this. So if we are anticipating anything, they could use a Welder if they do. They can energize this Talon Flame and attack and knock out our Sharpedo. All right, so we're safe, we're good. We're good. Okay, we still don't get anything out of that. I think I'm just gonna attack with Sharpedo here and just knock out this Talon Flame before it does anything else. So now our opponent will have to, well, we got two prizes for this. So that's the thing I'm saying is that, um, it's best if your Charizard deck doesn't have any two prizers on it because that's gonna get that's gonna become um, a liability on your build because you're relying on that one prize exchange between you and your opponent. But if you have two prizers to give two prizes to give up, then you lose quicker. So that's why I don't recommend adding any two prizers in a Charizard deck. But that you know, that's that's me. That's me. So they're gonna be able to evolve into a Charizard um, now, and that one can knock out <laughs> any of our Pokemon at this point because they just threw uh, two two Leons, I think, on their on their discard pile. So they have an energy on Mew, so they will be able to retreat with it. 
and they can attack with this Charizard but the thing is let's see what is our plan here uh, we can attack with Weavile I mean we can but we could but it's not gonna knock out the Charizard and we don't we don't have enough energy to go around all right so I, yeah Royal Blaze for 300 damage oh my gosh I, I guess they all they already have all four Leons in their discard pile I'm just gonna put Crobat here in the active and I'm just gonna put I mean I can use ordinary rod I can use boss order but all they have to do is put an energy on Mew and just retreat I think I'm just gonna use uh, hiding energy and I, I have to do this otherwise we will lose but let's just I guess I'm just gonna use boss's order and I'm just gonna get as much basic Pokemon here to fill our bench so we got a carbon okay Carvana Litten and Sneasel we are gonna lose this Weavile so we have a Weavile on our hand so we could just evolve it on our next turn which is good so what they could do is just put an energy on this Mew so that boss's order could have potentially messed them up but you know what they have giant hearth so they could just find an energy attach it on Mew and be able to retreat with it so all right um yeah charizard this charizard this new charizard uh don't understand don't underestimate it because it can want one hit ko like 90 percent of pokemon in the game other than uh the v maxes yeah so there goes our weavile so now they are ahead one prize and they're just gonna be able to attack but we can I can we can try and we can try stalling with this Carvana. Let's just evolve into Grimmsnarl V Max for now. Evolve Weavile GX. Uh, let's just use Ordinary Rod. We can get this Carvana line, I think, this uh, Sharpedo. And we can get two energies back into our deck. And we can use Marnie. So that that potentially disrupts our opponent. And we can use this Chaotic Swell to get rid of that fire. Giant Hearth. And let's set up this Carvana. So let's see if we get any energies off of this. Oh, dude. <laughs> Three energies. That's not bad. Nice. So I'm going to transfer all that energy on our Grim Snarl V Max right away. Because they're just going to knock out. If we attack with Sharpedo, we won't be able to knock out that Charizard so we we are just gonna use it to get energy so with the three energy on Grimmsnarl VMAX we should be able to knock out um, the Charizards in our opponents on our opponent because Charizard only has 170 HP and then um, I, I hate losing the Pokemon Center lady because we can use that to heal up I mean you know what we, we probably shouldn't worry about that because Charizard hits for 300 anyways. Um, so we will just Professor's Research on our next turn. And then attack with Grimmsnarl VMAX. So the, now the challenge with our opponent because they weren't able to put a Giant Hearth. Uh, they have to battle sense and energy to start attaching on their uh, bench Charizard lines because if they don't, um, if we knock out this Charizard in the active, they will not be able to attack in the next turn or two if they don't start energizing their Charizard line. So, so we're 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 still pretty good. We are we're still pretty good. All right, I think okay. They're they're gonna switch out because they know that. That Charizard is not gonna survive. I'm just gonna put that on Sharpedo. We could use it to attack anyways, because we're only losing one price off of that. I'm um, gonna evolve 
Incineroar that it'll get us more energies on in play. So let's just use our uh, Scar Charge. We have five energies left in the deck. So let's use Shadow Connection and I'm just gonna attach these three energies on Sharpedo because um, if we attack with Grimmsnarl VMAX, it'll get hit for 300 and we, we can lose the game if we lose three prize cards. So knocking out that Mew with Sharpedo is I think the best option. So now they have to put their Charizard into the active to start attacking. Otherwise, Sharpedo will just continue to attack the other, the other Pokemon that they have. So Charizard with all these energies are the only ones who can tank one hit from Sharpedo. Although, you know what? If we add like three more, let's see, six, 12. If we add three more energies, which Grimmsnarl VMAX has, we can knock out this Charizard. And if they don't have any other energies on their other Charizard line, oh boy. Okay, so they're gonna target Weavile GX instead. All right, well, that's... I think that's okay. All right, well, I think that's okay for for me because... Okay, they, they have one prize card left. So we're just gonna promote Grimmsnarl VMAX. What we're gonna do here, let's just attach that energy. Let's just uh, use Marnie to disrupt their hand. I mean, th that could be helping them, but you know what? It could be disrupting them as well. Um, I'm just going to G-Max Drill for a KO here. They don't have any energies on their other Charizard line. We got one price card off of this. So now what we could do is we have another chance of... Knocking out this Charmander and surviving an attack from the Charizard in the bench. So that's what I'm thinking. Because Grimstrong VMAX has 330 HP. So they should, unless. Like the build that I have with Charizard, I had a Palpad, you know, just put that back into the deck and then maybe with Battle Sense you can, they can find that uh, Leon to increase their attack and just one hit KO this Grimmsnarl VMAX. Or if they have a boss's order, they just boss's order one of our Pokemon in the bench. And then they win the game. What? There, <laughs> there it is. Oh, but you know what? That's fine because they don't have any energy on that um, Charizard, and they can't use they can't use Welder. So what we could do is get our own. What we could do is get our own boss's order. Um, I think, let's see. If they have another boss's order, let's just use Skylight Think to get a boss's order. And let's just make sure we have a lot of energy. Okay, we have two energies so we can use Car Charge. Uh, it has three retreat costs, so we will need that two energies to retreat into Grimmsnarl VMAX because at least Grimmsnarl VMAX can tank one hit from Charizard. And let's just evolve into Sharpedo. There's no more energy, so there's no point. Um, let's just use this Ordinary Rod. That will... We can get these two Weavile... Uh, this Weavile line. And we can get two energies back into our deck, which is good. And I'm just going to retreat here into Grimmsnarl VMAX. And I don't think I'm going to... I'm not going to attack. They have four Leons... And they have uh, two bosses ordered there, so if they have any more, then we're done for. But we're, we didn't attack here because 
they'll have to choose where to put an energy. Unless they have a welder. They have they had three in the discard pile. Unless they have a welder. Uh, they'll need to attach an energy on Charmander to retreat. Uh, because they'll need another energy on that Charizard in the bench. So... If they use a battle sense, they get a... Either they get a boss's order. Okay. Well, they use Professor's Research, so... I don't know if they have any more. But all we need to do is use boss's order and target that dead energy X for the win. Sweet. Uh, they just give up. Um, we, we had that game, though. Good game. All right. I gotta tell, I gotta tell you, th I, I am enjoying this um, particular build with Grimmsnarl VMAX, uh, with Incineroar and uh, Weavile GX. It's it's really fun. It's very consistent in my opinion. I, I it just works. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. All right, we're 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 up against um, a fire deck again. Uh, let's just put Litten. In the active. Let's see. We will have to Marnie probably in our next turn. If we don't get anything from our top deck. Yeah. Let's get that. Oh, we got an energy. That's good. Alright, we're up against a Blacephalon. Hmm, scary. I always get scared with Blacephalon because can just one hit KO our Grimmsnarl VMAX. Uh, let's just use Quick Ball. I think it's safe to just remove the Sharpedo. We don't need it right now. Let's see. This Carvana. I'm just gonna get a Carvana here because I can attach an energy and I can possibly stall with it. And I can sw um, Even if they knock out that Litten. At least we can use a Carvana's agility, which can all give us another turn. And we have a Marnie, which is good because that will lessen our opponent's hand. Hopefully they don't get any energies to start attacking like crazy. And that's why... <laughs> See, Velocephalon is very explosive like I, I mentioned in my other videos. Very fast. Look at that. Um, so we we have a Carvana. We will have to Marnie here. We have no choice. That'll get us five new cards. We got Professor's Research and we get a Sneasel. So that'll get us another turn at least. And I'll just put an energy on Carvana, I think. Give me a heads, please. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was a... <laughs> Taking a chance there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We have Professor's Research to use. We will have to discard the boss's order, unfortunately. But at least with uh, the hand that they have, uh, they're limited. But you know what? With the Green's Exploration, that kind of makes it hard because they really have a lot of access to trainers. All right, they're gonna use a quick ball. Let's see what they're gonna get. Houndoom, interesting. Why Houndoom? All right, they're gonna attach an energy. Okay, cool. Uh, they're gonna attack Blazer, but you know what? We don't get hit with that, so that's good. And I will have to do use Professor's Research here. No choice. We get another Quick Ball. That's, that'll survive us another turn. Um, should I get a Litten or a Crobat? I think I'll just get a Crobat V. That'll get us more cards in our hand. I'll have to thin it out though. Thin my hand out. So I'll just attach an energy on Carvana and get rid of this. Put it on Sneasel. Use Crobat V. We get this. At least we can transfer the energies around. Um, hmm. um, I think I'm just going to use 
shadow connection here it hits for 100 uh, plus damage anyway so I'm just gonna transfer all of the energy from Carvana and just get rid of this uh, Bless Ephelon we're just gonna knock it out Claw Slash because that's the most dangerous attacker and we'll get a price card because Houndoom um, they need a Pokemon in their bench to have a damage for it to do that 200 damage and they'll also need three energies on it so at least Weavile GX has that survival it will survive any of Houndoom's attack in this turn so that was the only option we had was to get rid of that Blacephalon anyways if you were in my position you would probably done the same thing because Blacephalon is just too dangerous to be left uh, on the field <laughs> you know? okay they have Talonflame they have Fire Crystal they will need to get another Blacephalon here to start doing damage we got Pokemon Center Lady we could just probably heal it up okay we got more energy oh we could just put all an energy in play uh, probably put it on Carvana or something so let's just heal up uh, Weavile GX and I think I think I'm just gonna use Nocturnal Maneuvers GX to get our Litten Grimmsnarl VMAX line ready on our bench so we we will survive any attacks from here anyways and all we have to do is use switch uh, to get one of our other Pokemon to to attack unfortunately Grimmsnarl V can only do 200 damage and it'll put two energies back into our hand but that's okay uh, we can we have rare candy, so I'm hoping we get an Incineroar GX so we can get more energies uh, in play uh, for us to move around with Weavile. So at least, at least we have. Um, all right, there's another Blastephalon with their our opponent using Quick Ball. Vengeful Flame will only do 100 damage because they don't have a damage Pokemon, damage Fire Pokemon in their bench. So now we get a Grimmsnarl V Max in our top deck. Let's just attach an energy. Uh, we'll transfer all of these energies onto Grimmsnarl V. V Max. I think four should suffice. It should be able to knock out this. Uh, I think, yeah, four is enough. I don't want to put all of them because uh, if they're able to power up Blacephalon like this turn then they can just one hit KO Grimmsnarl VMAX especially they have a welder but see look at that that's how fast Blacephalon can be put in the bench switch into the active and get all these energies on their hand and just one hit KO anything look at that fire crystal Ugh, crazy crazy deck crazy build Blacephalon look at that Fireball Circus, is it gonna die? <laughs> okay, 200 damage. Oh man. We were fortunate enough to be left alive with that one. Um, they will. They would have gotten 3 price card off of that. But at least now we have another Grimmsnarl VMAX line on our bench. And I'm just gonna transfer 1 energy and I'm just gonna knock out this Blacephalon. Uh, at least if they get another Blacephalon... Uh, in play at least you know we're not discarding all of the energy from the Grim Snarl V Max in the active so all we have to do is attach one energy from our hand transfer Carvanas and that'll get the Grim Snarl V Max attacking uh, from our bench in the next few turns so uh, they are gonna money though and we still have a rare candy so if we money maybe we can get like um Incin or RG, GX. There's the Blessed Cephalon. Look at that. But you know what? They just pass. Uh, we got this game. We'll just transfer two energies onto our Grimmsnarl VMAX in the active. And we can just one hit KO this Talonflame for two prizes. And that'll win us the game. GMAX Drill. 270 damage. Not too bad. Good game. Good game. 
All right, I think we have time for another battle here. Okay, let's go first. We're up against a colorless. I think I'm just gonna put a Grim Snarl V into the active. Put Litten in the bench. Ooh, another Grim Snarl. Let's just put one energy on the active. And we're just gonna end our turn. We can't do anything special going first. Okay, they're gonna Marnie. That's good. Is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Uh, we get another Litten. Okay. So, interesting. They have a colorless box, but they're using a lot of lightning type Pokemon. Let's see. Let's just put a Vitality Band on Grimmsnarl V. I'm gonna get rid of the Litten. Use this Quick Ball. Get ourselves a Crobat. Attach this Hiding Energy on the active and use Crobat. There's the VMAX. Uh, we can't attack yet. But at least it'll... Let's see, should we? Yeah, at least we'll survive one attack and we can attack next turn. Um, I'll just retreat. It's a free retreat anyways. There's no point using a switch. Um, so we'll just sacrifice a Grimstar LV if they do end up attacking. <clears throat> attacking it and they could knock it out. I don't know. But we can build up our Grimstar V V Max on the bench. Um, just using three energies won't knock out Bolton V because it has like 250 HP right now. So we're just going to keep building up the one on the bench. Um, their Mork Pico V V Max will hit for 180. So Grimmsnarl V should be fine. Yeah, 250 HP. We will need we will need that five energy on Grimmsnarl V Max to knock out this Bolton V. Um, if they do switch out though, let's see. So they have more Pico V V right now. They can do hit and run, or if they uh, evolve into more Pico V Max. They can hit for 180, but they're just gonna use um, Vika Volt, and we're just gonna continue to attach an energy on Grimmsnarl V Max. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they're they're stalling, but that's fine. We're gonna just gonna keep building up Grimmsnarl V Max. I don't think any of their attacks will be able to knock out Grimmsnarl V Max, anyways. I mean, Vol Bolton can can probably if, he, if they get enough energy uh, in play. I'm gonna attach a billowing smoke, okay. If they knock out this Grimmsnarl V, okay, they're just gonna continue to stall. Uh, we can build up our energy, they're building up their energy, and they, Bolton can potentially knock out uh, Grimmsnarl V Max, so we have to be careful. So. I just need an Incineroar GX to evolve our Litten. Okay, they're gonna use boss's orders. Okay, um, I can. I guess they're itching to get a prize card and just just chose to uh, knock out Carvana. But that's fine because now we weren't able to use uh, Switch. We just promoted Grimmsnarl V Max, and we're just gonna use Pokemon Center Lady. And then now we could just knock out this. Vika Vault V, but we're just gonna discard the price cards. Um, knocking out Vika Vault V is uh, important because that will actually decrease Bolton V's attacks. Uh, because it needs uh, the you need they need a lot of energy for it to be a strong attack. So they're gonna use more Pico V here. Um, the only attack they can use is the Hit and Run, but if they evolve it. Okay, I hate, I don't like hammers. I like using them, but <laughs> uh, I played a few games with this deck where they, they just got heads on all of their hammers, which is stupid. But Pokemon Center Lady is useful in this deck too, because it really helps out in healing. We can just use e this Evil Incense 
and get an Incineroar GX here to evolve. That'll get us more energies. And we can even attack with Incineroar GX actually. So let's just use Car Charge. Uh, get three energies. Let's see. Uh, Pink Kirchen has this ability where if you attack it, they can um, flip heads and then you're going to get damage. But I just decided to use the GX attack to just one hit KO it with the help of the Vitality Band, which is really good. And we did survive despite the... Because if we had Grimmsnarl V Max attack, they're going to get three price card off of that. So it's it's better that we attack with Incineroar GX. And even if they knock it out, which they don't, uh, it has one more HP. That's really good, man. Incineroar GX is... I think it's like... I don't know. It's really good. I just... I just appreciated Incineroar GX more <laughs> playing this this build. So we're just gonna attack to knock out this Bolton V for the win. Uh, easy. <laughs> Good game. Grimmsnarl V Max was originally designed to pair with Hydreigon with the Dark Squall ability, which allows you to put as many dark energy from your hand onto your Pokemon any way you like. However, it's always inconsistent and it just never worked for me. But with this build, we can guarantee our energies onto our Grimmsnarl VMAX and with Incineroar GX, we can also guarantee some wins with other VMAX matchups. I am loving this deck right now, very powerful and very very consistent and with no weakness to fighting. I highly recommend it. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please 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 don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. My name is Joseph, thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel and as always stay safe and have a great day.